Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started with Jasmine real quick. You know what? <laughs> this girl right here, this girl right here really got some nerve, right? So you know what? Jasmine was just live, right? And you know, at first, the lot when she first clicked on the live, um, she didn't have no tears in her eyes. It was almost as though she was trying to think of something to make herself cry. So she was over there sitting like, you know, okay, uh, okay, what about, I'll think about my grandma getting sick. Okay, that's not producing any tears. Uh, let me think about my mom getting sick. Okay, that's not producing any tears as well. Let me think of somebody, you know, passing away. Okay, that's not bringing me anything. Oh, okay, let me think about Chris leaving me. And then all of a sudden she started to boo-hoo and started to cry and stuff like that. So, you know, what? I guess Jasmine wanted to go ahead and reenact January 2nd on June 3rd. I don't know what it is with the Jays. Is, she's gonna, is she going to come back next month, July, on the July 4th and come back, you know, with this same old crybaby tune or whatnot? Now, you know what? Um... You know, I, like I said before, um, you, we see a whole bunch of people, of course, over there in Jasmine's chat trying to fucking baby her and be like, oh, you guys, just take it easy on her. Oh, Jasmine, it's going to be okay. You're going to get through it. Da -da. No, no, we're not about to sit here and baby this big ass hoe no fucking more. She ain't a little hoe no more. She's a fucking big hoe. Put some respect on that big hoe's name. Nah, we not doing that stuff no more with this bitch. All right. OK, maybe she had gotten a lot of people's sympathy January 2nd. But then all that shit went out the fucking window when she turned around a couple of days after that and said that she would still be with that nigga who dogged the fuck out of her stupid ass. Hell to the motherfucking no. No, and we don't fucking care about your problems, Jasmine. You want to know why we don't give a fuck about you being broke? Why we don't care about you needing money to pay for your fucking rent and all your bills? Why we don't care about you, your fucking troubles or what you're going through right now? You want to know why? Because you're not doing nothing to fucking fix it. You want to sit your lazy ass on this fucking live and cry and, and, you know, produce these fucking fake crocodile fucking tears and thinking that people about to go ahead and start sending you cash apps. Now, you know what? It just may be a couple of dummies who fucking send her a cash app, but I bet not, it better not be a whole bunch of dummies sending it to her stupid ass. Because you know what? She gonna turn around and do this, keep on doing the same motherfucking thing. In this live that Jasmine did, she alluded to the fact that, you know, Chris was whispering sweet nothings in her ear, playing with her mind. That's what this fucking bullshit was about. He was playing with her mind, got her to give up some, got, got her to give him some of her fucking money. This dumbass hoe did in a turnaround on what? On the day that he's supposed to pay her ass the fuck back? That day came and went. He ain't giving this bitch shit. Now she want to bring her big ass on here and fucking cry. Oh, no, bitch. Take your dumb ass the fuck on. Not to mention, you know, now Jasmine is starting to come out somewhat and try to talk about Chris, talking about he's very selfish. Um, he's playing with her mind. And also that she's thinking about blocking him. Now, she said that she already blocked one of her kids' fathers today, which, okay, now we, we know it was Philip. She's thinking about blocking Chris as well. What the fuck is there to think about? What the fuck does this bum ass nigga do? Why the fuck are you over here on this internet? This is the reason why nobody should get this hoe a damn dime. You want to know why? Because this bitch has the opportunity to, to put that dead beat of a dude on fucking child support and get at least $300 out of his fucking ass at least she's not getting no she's not getting less than 200 from out of him she better put his ass on fucking child support you need money go put his ass on fucking child support he ain't doing shit he ain't trying to swing by and pick leggy up he's not taking him for fucking weekends or throughout the fucking week or even coming to see this boy on his fucking days off he don't give a fuck about you your kids or leggy he don't give a fuck about y'all but no, here we go. This dumbass bitch is still want to come on here and fucking cry to the people. No, we're done being here for you, you dumb hoe. We're done. Grow the fuck up. Grow up. You're not doing nothing to fix your fucking situation. This bitch had the fucking audacity to sit up on fucking live and cry and talk about 
Oh, I was up all night trying to figure out ways to make money and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so tired. And I was trying to figure out ways to make money. No, the fuck you did not, you dumb bitch. No, the fuck you didn't. Because if you did figure out ways to make money, your ass would not be on fucking live crying talking about you broke, ho. You'll be out there making fucking deliveries and doing every, anything else to fucking get money. Hello, the fuck? Every time when somebody had mentioned in her chat about her doing um work from home, Jasmine always has a fucking excuse. That's why nobody should give her no fucking money. It's always an excuse about something. Bitch, what's wrong with you going out there doing DoorDash and Instacart and Uber Eats and um Amazon Flex? Bitch, you could have Legend right in the back seat or all those things. You could bring his ass the fuck along. That's how you can make some quick money. What's your excuse for that? Her excuse for working from home was, yeah, I tried to do that, but but then she got sidetracked because she ain't have no fucking good excuse for it. She ain't know what the fuck to say. Bitch, what's your excuse? I already know why she wouldn't be able to, to do a work from home job. You want to know why? Because them loud ass fucking kids, that loud ass boy over there, he's too fucking loud. You can't have all that commotion going on while you're doing a work from home job. She better find her a third shift work from home job. That's the only thing that will work for her. Other than that, bitch, get the fuck, get your big ass up. Get take your big ass in the fucking car and get the scoop in. The fuck why? Why are you coming on here crying to us? We don't want to fucking see it. Nobody's nobody's falling for the fucking oaky doak. The fuck we supposed to do? Jasmine, for some reason, she thinks that she's the only woman. She thinks she's the only mom out here who is single, living by themselves, having to pay a boatload in fucking rent, taking care of all the fucking utilities and all of the household expenses and taking care of kids and shit at the same motherfucking time. She thinks for some reason, she thinks she's the only mother out here doing this shit. Bitch, you're not. Bitch, you're not. And a lot of people don't have fucking support systems. Not everybody has a fucking village. But you know what they do? They create one. They create one. You have fucking five kids that are still el eligible for daycare, for child care. Bitch, you take your ass out there to go find a fucking job. Take it to the welfare office or food stamp office, as you fucking call it. Take it to the food stamp office. I can guarantee that you can get all five of those kids in fucking daycare and you don't even have to fucking pay a copay. But your dumb ass don't want to motherfucking do it because you don't want to help your situation. You would rather bring your lazy, dumb ass on here and beg the people for their fucking hard-earned money. Bet the fuck not. Bet. And nobody bet not send her not a near cash app because she don't fucking deserve it. She's not out here fucking doing shit to better her fucking situation. She don't want to. She don't want to talk about she want to do all this stuff and she cares a lot about her kids and, you know, she just don't want to do this and that. Bitch, if you cared about your motherfucking kids, ho, you would never got with Chris. If you cared about your kids, ho, you've been out here trying to do whatever the fuck you can to not be fucking broke, to not be back on this internet fucking crying and begging the people for some more damn money. The fuck? Just because you don't say it out your mouth that you want to people to send you money bitch you're not stopping your fucking dumb ass mods from rolling your damn cash app through the chat are you are you you're not saying no everybody don't do my don't drop my cash app i don't need no money from nobody don't drop my cash app i don't need no money everybody just don't send me nothing i just want to vent you ain't say nothing like that you ain't say nothing the fuck and lo and behold, a little bit down the way in the live, them tears dried the fuck up when she started hearing them dings come through. When her phone started to vibrate. The fuck, all that shit done dried the fuck out and she was ready to fucking go. You know what? The, you, what you can do to cut expenses, stop bringing your stupid ass over to that damn weight loss clinic, ho. Pumping all them fucking shots into you and popping fucking pills. How about you don't do that? Don't do that. That will save you for some fucking money. How about you stop um, going to all these damn eateries with you and Leggy? How about you stop doing that? The fuck? Shit. Bitch out here fucking want to spend all types of fucking money and ain't got it. Where they do that at? 
oh, let me guess. So you went ahead and get, you know, Chris some fucking money and then he's supposed to pay you back and give it some or do something for you or come through and, you know, chill with Leggy and he didn't do it. Oh, poor Ting Ting, poor dumb dumb. Fuck out of here. And no, we don't feel fucking sorry for you. We sure the fuck don't. And now she mad at Chris. I mean, now she mad at uh, Philip, right? She's mad at Philip because she had to keep the um the Davis for longer than what she needed to. She was like, he was then supposed to take these kids, and I kept them for longer than what I was supposed to. He's selfish. He's this. He's another one. Then she had the nerve to say, you know, um, that she was trying to get a job, but, you know, neither one of her baby dads, they think that she's supposed to sacrifice everything. What the fuck you think they supposed to do, Jasmine? Just because you up and say you want to get a job and then you tell them your work schedule and you tell them that they need to take their kids on them certain days. You think that they're going to fucking do that? No, they've been working. But they was working before you, dummy. The fuck? What you think they about to be saying? Oh, okay, Jasmine. Well, since you want to work those days, I'ma just figure something out on my end so I can go ahead, so I can go ahead and have the kids. No, bitch, you have to work around their schedule. You have to work around their schedule, not them work around yours. The fuck? They was working first before you. Then she gonna have, you know, she called attitude because Philip couldn't take the kids. Okay, um. If him and Hannah's working, what the fuck you want them to do? Call off work just because you want, you're trying to get rid of your kids and you're not working a job? A oh, girl, get the fuck on somewhere. Get the fuck on somewhere. I don't give a fuck what the fuck you sacrificed. You have not sacrificed enough. That's what the fuck it is. Talking about all oh, this. I want a break. I need a break for my kids. I need this. I need that. Bitch, go get a fucking job then like everybody else. <coughs> Go get a job like every other fucking single mama out here to get a break away from their kids. Go get a damn job. All right. That's your fucking break. Okay. Like, I'm confused. I'm, I'm, I'm really confused. So let me go ahead and share my screen real quick because this whole got me fired. Okay. So we're going to start it right here. So, like, I just. I feel mm -hmm. like whenever I say, hey, let me do this, help me out. Like, bitch, ain't nobody about to fucking jump, hop, and skip just because you want to fucking do something. The fuck? No. That's not how what the thing, that, that's not how stuff works, Jasmine. That's not how stuff works. You want to do something, you got to figure out how the fuck you want to do it. The hell? Figure it out. It ain't you telling people what the fuck they're going to do. No. Neither one has been in this position. No one's been single and had to take care of kids by themselves. Neither one. Girl, fuck that fat hoe. No. Ew. Like, seriously, fuck that fat ass bitch. Them. Ready? That bitch is fat and she don't have her fucking kids. So she don't know what it's like to be struggling. So that fat bitch has nothing to say. She don't know shit about struggle. Bitch, you don't know what struggle is. Oh, yeah, forgot. So then Jasmine says, you know, her rent is like too it's expensive as fuck well jasmine how come you haven't been looking for a cheaper place to stay even if it's a fucking two bedroom how come you haven't been looking for a cheaper place to stay what the fuck you want us to do about it talking about her realtor asked her if there was anybody that she she knew that um that um would sign a lease put the put the place in their name for her the fuck bitch what if your own family's not willing to do that for you, what you what why are you saying this to us? You think one of us is gonna allow you to put a place in our uh, hell to the motherfucking no, Jasmine. Are you crazy? Bitch, what the fuck are you over there sipping on? How come you have not been proactive like you're proactive in that motherfucking gym? Like you're proactive for getting your fat ass down into that damn weight loss clinic. How come you haven't been proactive with getting your butt? to um, finding an apartment to move into. 
I mean, you could easily, quickly, thought, you could have, you could have thought about this shit in January, been up day and night trying to fucking look for an apartment to stay in, apply for a different, apply for apartments, and then give your fucking um the whoever the landlord a sixty day notice. Let them know the, what, the, what the problem is. Like, listen, I'm not able to afford it by myself. My man left me and that's what it is. A 60 day notice. Um, they should be able to fucking respect it because it ain't like you just up and um, leaving out of fucking nowhere. You let them know ahead of time and so be it. Have your fucking place lined the fuck up. What you want us to do? We're not about to fucking go rent you no fucking hotels for you and your kids to stay at. We're not about to put no fucking apartment or house in our fucking names. We're not paying your fucking rent. We're not doing nothing. Fuck your fat, funky, wanna be a weight work, working out bitch ass. Like, don't even come on here fucking with me. I swear to God, like, I'm not in the fucking headspace. I don't even have the energy to deal with no fat-ass, racist, fat bitch. Leave it alone. <laughs> Man, uh, who was that Re reaction chick? Look. <laughs> Go pick your clothes back up. No. No. I can honestly say that that's not. How do you say? What's Just know that they're both that's irritating crazy. the fuck out of me. Just know that that's it's not crazy. even about that because he doesn't. He that's get that's now that's he's get he got them now. Whoa. But trust me, it was stuff that happened prior that that really. When it comes to this job situation, that's what pissed me off. Um, but <laughs> that nigga's pissing me off too. Why, Jasmine? Because he won't take the kids for the whole summer. What he what what plans did he ruin of yours? You're mad because he can't have the kids the whole summer? The fuck? Well, that's what your dumb ass get. That's what your ungrateful ass get. Coming on this here fucking YouTube and want to blast and talk about him and call her all types of bitches and talk about you want to beat her up and stuff. That's what your fucking ass get. Now, who needs who now? Because he just move funny. I hate niggas that move funny. Both of them just get on my nerves sometimes. Like, I feel like they selfish. Both of them, they're selfish. They could be selfish as fuck. Stop. Pick up your clothes. Hey, pick up your clothes that you walked, knocked on the floor. So I don't give a fuck about whoever that is. No, they both are. They both are selfish. It's so much that y'all don't know because I be trying so hard to shut the fuck up and not put people's shit out here. But trust me, they're both selfish. And that's why we going through what we going through. And I said what I said because little that people know I have my kids and I wouldn't even post to fucking have them. I wouldn't even post to have them. What, Jasmine, did you have something that you had to fucking do to where you weren't supposed to have them? Did you have something that you had to do? Bitch couldn't fucking wait to get rid of them. So, yeah, it is, they both selfish. Somebody? They both are. They both feel like it's just it's their way or the uh, No way. Trust me. Fuck both of them. Now, Chris, I'm just about to, like, block this motherfucker. That's really what I'm about to do. Why, Jasmine? Tell us. You want to tell us everything else? Tell us they why. They both move funny. It's her, you know what, grouping them into, you know, in the same categories. Jasmine, if you want to talk about Chris, just go ahead and talk about him, bitch. He ain't no motherfucking two-year-old. You don't have to group him with everybody else just to, so he can, so that he won't feel attacked or something. Bitch, go ahead and talk directly to him and about him. The fuck? 
They both move funny. They both selfish. I'm about to I'm about to block Chris. Go, okay, go ahead. Tell us. Let us know why. Why? Oh, why? Because he keep on telling you sweet nothings and you keep on doing everything, going above and beyond for this broke ass, bum ass, deadbeat ass nigga. Girl. You got they just lie too much. Both of them. I just I, I don't give a fuck. Like and your dumb ass still believe in it. Why? Why are you like, oh my goodness. Jasmine, wake the fuck up. Wake up. You're too old to be acting this way. Why are we still believing everything a man tells us? Why? What am I? Mommy. I've tried to get a work Mommy. from home job, Mommy. so that's why I was Mommy. trying to do something. What? She's not here. I'm just I'm talking about everything that's going on. I'm reading those comments. I'm trying to keep up. I'm talking about so everything I'm talking about is everything that I'm dealing with, like. In, in a whole, it's not just one situation. It's finances. It's um, motherfuckers that think that they can talk to me a certain type of way or move a certain type of way, or they think that their life is more important than mine, or I should just, I have to sacrifice whatever the fuck I got to sacrifice because I laid and had the kids and they don't have to do anything. Or it's motherfuckers that think that they can say certain things to me and make me feel some type of way. And I, I'm when I'm doing good mentally, I'm not good, okay mentally. So it's motherfuckers that do all that. It's both of them. They both get on my fucking, they both are draining me. And they don't even. You're draining yourself, Jasmine. It's not them. It's you. We're going to go ahead and close this off because I got to go. But it's you. You're draining yourself, dummy, while you keep on fucking relying on them. Jasmine want to talk about and think that everybody's fucking relying on her. No, bitch. You rely on them. That's why you feel as though they're draining you. No, you're draining yourself by putting up with stuff that you don't have to fucking put up with. If you fucking need help with your finances, you know what the fuck to do. Get your ass up and get your ass out there. Get your ass up and get your fucking ass out there. What else did she fucking name? Oh, you need help with uh, somebody taking care of the kids so you can work. Okay, once again, get your fucking ass up and get yourself out there. We just mentioned childcare. Don't be talking to us about no fucking stupid ass wait list, bitch. There's more than fucking one daycare in all of fucking Texas, ho. Move your ass the fuck around and find it. We're not looking for shit for you. Like I said, you have to build your own fucking village, you dummy, to where you don't have to worry about asking everybody else, oh, can you watch my kids? Can you do this? Can you watch them while I go to work? Can you do this? Can you do that for me? No, dummy. Everything's already taken care of to where you don't have to even talk to your baby fathers. You can send a text message. They can text message you when they fucking about to come pick up their damn kids. Bitch, you're draining yourself. And that's it. I'm sick and tired of this hoe. She getting on my fucking nerves. But yeah, y'all, listen. Well, well, I guess we'll come through with a part two with this one or not because she's she's really arguing me with the stupidity. Go ahead and like this video, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe if you have yet to do so. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.